Namo Buddhaya. Welcome to yet another episode in Inner Guide Q&A program where we find the answers for our life problems through the great teachings of our great teacher, Supreme Buddha. Now, one of our viewers have asked a question from us that what is true love according to the Buddhism? Well, when we talk about the topic love, remember, as humans, as beings in this world, we all seek love and affection in our life, right? All living beings need love to live. So when you talk about the topic love, it is a vast and a broad topic, right? Love can be found in many ways. But the basic and the base for all these kinds of love is the kindness and the compassion. But most often, people may misunderstand the love and the attachment. Right. When we come to the topic of uh, love between the partners, the male and females, boys and girls, many of the boys and girls, they doesn't know what is true love and what is attachment. Now there is a distinct difference between true love and attachment. So what is the difference? Well, when someone loves another person, he will say, I need you to be happy by being with me. Right? In the other hand, if someone being attached to some person, he will always say, that why are you not making me happy? Right? So there is a big difference between these two expressions. When someone loves another person, he will say, I, I need you to be happy by being with me. That means you are trying to give something to someone. Right? You always try to give the happiness to a person. But if you are being attached to someone, right? If you are being, if you are developing lustful ideas towards someone, your mind will say, why are you not making me happy? You need to make me happy. So that is based on the selfishness, right? The true love is based on unselfishness. Right? In the true love, there are, there are many things, many good assets. They are the love, kindness, compassion, patience. These are the basic uh, qualities that leads to the true love. Right? If you are loving someone, you need to be kind to that person. You need to be compassionate to that person. You need to feel the sadness of the, those people. Now, when we talk about the uh, topic compassion, compassion means to suffer with other people. That means if you can feel the pain that is hidden inside the people's life, if you can, if you can feel and become uh, empathy, you can feel the empathetic feeling about them, then that is called compassion. If you can share the pain that is in another person, person with you, then that is compassion. So in true love, you need to have that sharing ability. And also, you need to have the kindness. You need to always wish the well-being of that person. Right? You need always to wish the good of that person. That is how you love truly. 
Our great teacher Supreme Buddha gave a wonderful explanation for the love. Supreme Buddha said, Mata yatan yang puttang ayusa eka putta manurakhi. As a mother who loves her only child, you should spread that same love to the to every person in this world. So when we talk about mother's love, parents they does not expect anything from us. Instead, they love them, love us. Now, when we were small, right? We were doing so many terrible things to our parents, right? Have you seen that the, the babies do so many terrible things to the, their parents, right? They drag from their hair, they pinch them, they cry, they yell. But yet, the parents still love their children. So when someone is truly loving someone, it's like it's, they're, they're holding them firmly and they're nurturing them, right? But if you are attached to a person, you always expect the things from others, right? You always expect the things that fulfill your desires, right? When someone is attached and when someone is being lustful for someone, that means he's always expecting to fulfill every fulfillment and desire from that person. You're not trying to give something, always you are trying to get something from that person. Right? It's like you're holding on to something tightly. Right? Suppose you are drawing a cow or a bull, you are holding that cow or a bull from a rope. So when that animal tries to escape, what you, what you are doing is you are holding it tightly, right? The more you hold it tightly, you are the one who is getting hurt, right? You are the one who is getting hurt. If you can let go, what will happen? You are not getting hurt anymore. So when you are being attached to a person, you will always get hurt. And you will never fulfill your desires because desires and sensual desires, they never get fulfilled. They, we cannot make ourselves satisfied from those things. Okay, so that is what you call the attachment. In attachment, you hold on to uh, things tightly. There is a great quote that describes about love. If you like a flower, right? If you like a flower, you will pluck that flower. But if you love a flower, you will water the plant, that flower, flower plant. So if you love someone, what you have to do, you have to say that I need you to be happy with me, right? I always wish the happiness of your life. If that happiness in includes me, that is better. But if it is not, in that case also, I need you to be happy. That is how you love truly. And that is the difference between the true love and the attachment. Right? In true love, you don't expect anything from the person, but still you try to give the happiness to them. In attachment, you always expect the things from people and still you will never be satisfied from them. So choose to love the people correctly. If you choose to love people correctly, then you will be a peaceful person throughout your life. Namo Buddhaya Teruwasana.